Father gave us a family, raised us, and told each of us what we should work towards. In turn, what I can do is very simple. Remain loyal and protect our home. When I was little, I was taught that we should be ready to give our lives for our family. But when Father took control, this philosophy changed. Father said that every one of us is important, and we have to value our own lives, be our strongest selves, and stand on our own two feet in this world. But actually, all of that's much harder than just following orders. <sighs> oh. How Father expresses love, well, not everyone can accept it. But it is only because of Father that home can be called home. Father doesn't like it when children cry. Father says tears are the product of emotion and weakness. So when Father scolds me, I hold it in until I'm underwater, where no one can hear me cry. <sighs> At least I have the Romaritime flowers to keep me company. Ours is a kingdom consisting only of children, and Father is our king. No king rules forever, of course, and I know that one day I will be chosen as Father's successor. But that also terrifies me. Please don't mention this to anyone, especially my sister and Fremenay. Staying silent is beneficial for maintaining focus and gathering intelligence. Once, a VIP audience member at our show took out a handkerchief that didn't belong to his wife. As for how such information is used, now, that depends on what father wants. <laughs>